We told you earlier that Nora is on assignment this morning in Tokyo. She spoke with America's ambassador to Japan, Caroline Kennedy, for an upcoming 60 Minutes story. She is with us now from Tokyo. Good morning. Well, konnichiwa, as they say here in Japan. It's really kind of a, a very historic moment because, as you know, this summer we're going to be marking the 70th anniversary of Japan's surrender that brought the end to World War II. And uh, JFK's PT-109 boat was sunk by a Japanese destroyer. He had famously sought, you know, to reconcile relations with Japan, had even planned to be the first sitting U.S. president to come to Japan in 1964, but was assassinated before that could be done. And now half a century later, his daughter, Caroline Kennedy, is the ambassador here at a very critical time in U.S. Uh, relations and certainly as our national security pivots towards Asia. And so we spent time with her all day today, the last couple of days, and it's, she's almost greeted like a head of state here uh, in Japan, incredibly popular. And how is she doing, Nora? From everything I hear, I hear she really likes the job very much. She does. I mean, this is, I would say, the most comfortable I've ever seen her. Um, you know, really in a, in a job that suits her skills, her diplomacy. She's working very closely with the conservative prime minister, Prime Minister Abe here, who's really undertaking some incredible reforms. They call it Abenomics because, as you know, Japan has been uh, facing uh, stagflation and deflation, stagnation rather, and deflation for the past two decades. And so he's trying to change things around. And one of the ways he's trying to change Japan's economy which remember Japan's economy is the third largest economy in the world is by womenomics so trying to get more women in the workforce and that's an incredibly unusual thing that they're doing it's, Japan has some of the most educated women in the world so the prime minister wants more women in the workforce how's he going to do that he's saying he wants 30 percent of the women in managerial positions and he's going to provide more daycare and there's a lot of data out there that says if they can do that they could boost Japan's GDP so go ahead nor on a, on, a, on a slightly different note here, we, 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 we have been enjoying the pictures of food. The, uh, the dining looks tremendous. It, it is. Today I had mountain yam, which was delicious, with soba noodles and um, some tempura, which was excellent. The food, the food, the only complaint I have about the food is that the bacon here is prosciutto thin. I mean, it's so thin. <laughs> and, and everybody eats salad for breakfast. I mean, it's no wonder that, that the Japanese people are so healthy. Usually after lunch, I'm, I'm, I'm yearning for a hamburger because they eat so much fish and rice and healthy foods here. But it's been an incredible... Uh, incredible visit where I've learned not a lot. Of, I mean, a lot about not only Japan culturally and the uh, economy here, but also how Caroline Kennedy is changing things. And just one more note: there's a huge JFK symposium coming up later this month. Bill Clinton will be here. Michelle Obama will be here. So there's a lot more, and we'll have all of that in our 60 Minutes piece later next month. Nora cannot wait to see you back here. Have fun. Take care, guys. Miss you. See you Miss soon. Miss you, too. Safe travels. And you can look for that story in a future edition of 60 Minutes, which, of course, airs Sundays right here on CBS.